Yeah. 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 Today, we celebrate the women and the care that you all bring. We're taking the time to thank you because your job is no easy thing. We acknowledge the work and the labor and love and recognize all the time you've given up for the sake of the kingdom. For the mothers whose hearts are burdened with doubt, for those who are tired and weary and have gone too long without a moment for yourselves to be restored and renewed. Find rest in the truth that the Lord your God sees you. To the mothers who've seen their families grow and became grandmothers with children who have families of their own, maybe you're thinking that you've made too many mistakes along the way, but please hear the Lord say that it's okay, for he knows the heart that beats in your chest, and he knows and understands that you did your best. For the women who have chosen to become role models to your loved ones or have taken responsibility when a mother is absent, receive God's love and care and affection for a servant's heart is one he delights in. Though you might not be what is considered a traditional mother, you're making a lasting impact in the life of another. Mm. Perhaps there is some distance between you and your mother, whether it's physically or emotionally, but remember that you are never alone. Through Christ, you are brought into another family. Mm -hmm. To the daughters who are working so hard to please their mothers and fathers, be encouraged and remember that you are honored in the eyes of your Heavenly Father. Amen. He sees the effort that you've placed in all your work, and yep. he is the one who will give you your worth. Amen. For some of you, your insecurities are eating you alive. You're fighting a war on the inside and you're trying to survive. And you're asking God, why? Why am I here? But you would be remiss to miss that God has placed you here for such a time as this. Don't you know that no weapon can be formed against his plans and purposes? We praise a perfect and intentional God who makes broken things new. We know that he makes no mistakes, so why would he start with you? Though some of your bodies may be weak, your spirits are strong, for they are instruments of praise set ablaze by the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, formed by the maker that gave his life for your sake. We honor our pastors, leaders, and teachers that do their best to lead us closer to Jesus. Remember that he is the one who will restore your soul so that you may continue your ministry until he calls us all home. Praise God for your sensitivity to the things unseen. Praise him for the wisdom which gives you the means to see things clearly. Do not be ashamed of the position you've been placed in, not for the emotions nor the heart that you have been given. These things are a gift that should not be forsaken, for they reflect the very nature of the God that lives in you. Know that you are not his burden. Please continue to be gentle like the breeze that carries God's presence. But do not forget that you are warriors equipped with the spirit of God which strengthens us. Always remember with your heart surrendered that God has rendered your life meaningful. You are chosen and loved and with all this to say, I wish you a very blessed and joyful Mother's Day. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> You know, we talk a lot about gifts, right? The gifts of the Holy Spirit, what God's doing, and we've got young adults, thank you so much. Yeah. That God